Hey gang, what's going on? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Hope you guys are doing well out there and uh, much appreciated you guys uh, taking some time to check the video out today. Never take that for granted. And guys, I got a really good video for you guys today. I'm gonna show you a relatively new lure. You may or may not know about it that in my opinion, it's the number one bait that you can throw to catch a limit of fish. If you want, if you want to go out there and catch fish and get you a limit and even some good ones, this is what I go to. I'm going to show you three different ways to rig it. And I can promise you it's going to put some good fish in, in the boat for you. Not just now, which it works good now, but all here long. So before we get started here, guys, I just want to invite everybody. If you haven't had a chance to check out Bridgeford Sweet Baby Ray Beef Jerky, guys, give this a try, man. This is the best boat food you're going to have. This is an all-American made company, guys. Everything's made here in America. They're a huge supporter of the sport of bass fishing. They make components for our military's MREs. Uh, it's just, once you try this stuff, it's like eating candy. Um, you can get it at any like Walmart uh, convenience store checkout. You can also get them at Bait Works here in Springfield, Missouri. They got a big selection. But um, guys, great supporter of the sport of bass fishing, Bridgeford Food Corporation and Bridgeford Sweet Baby Ray Jerky. And also I'd like to invite you guys we got some new videos up on the on the Bass Fishing Declassified YouTube channel. I've, I've been making a, a bi-weekly contribution uh, to, uh, to Bass Fishing Declassified. I'll put the link in the description uh, for you guys to check it out. And uh, well worth the, the time to do that. So much appreciated. Okay, guys, let's get into this. Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you what it is. And then I'm going to show you the rigging techniques. Um, guys, this is the Mega Bass Hazendong Shad. Guys, this, it's trying to get focused out here. This is a bass catching, for some reason, so if you guys can focus it out there. Guys, this is a bass catching bait right here. I'm telling you right now, there's very few lures that I've ever used that gets bit like this thing does. It's just absolutely incredible the number of strikes it'll get. You can see looking at it, it looks like a realistic little minnow here. It comes in two different sizes. It comes in the small size here, and then it comes in the four inch size larger one out there but also guys uh, bait works in springfield's got a gigantic selection of these things so i'll put the bait works link in the description if you guys want to get you some um, it's a good way to help the channel by using that link but guys this bait this hazendong shad is taking over the swim bait market i'm telling you right now i get so many different comments people talking about it it's hard to keep these things in stock it's like literally like using live bait so i'm going to show you the three different ways that i set it up First of all, I'm going to throw a bone out to the live scope and A-riggers. Guys, it's one of the best lures you can use on an A-rig right here. Um, they look so realistic. It looks like a little school of minnows in it. You know, you got the tail flapping perfectly. It's a real thin profile. One of the top lures I've ever used for, for fishing A-rigs on there. Uh, the next way I like to use it is on a jig head. Now, one of the things that I like to do, this is just a personal preference for what I like to do, guys. I like to cut it off just behind the eye right there. I like to uh, just give it a flat side like that. And what that does, that allows the jig head to set on it a little bit better. So um, I'm using the Mega Bass Okashira jig head on the Mega Bass Hazendong Shad. And you've got this little edible tid tidbit like that. Look at that thing. Guys, I'm telling you right now, they will bite that thing. You fish that thing, on like six pound test line, Seaguar and Vizex line, spinning rod, throw it in around, throw it in and around some like main lake and secondary points, uh, cast it, let it go to the bottom, just reel it back in slow. Guys, this right here is, is like using a live minnow. I'm telling you, it's just freaking awesome. And then the final way I like to do it, and this is really how I have caught the most fish on it, is on a drop shot. And I'll just take a little small Gamagatsu drop shot hook right here. And I nose hook it, I come up through the bottom of the lip on it, just in the head. And I just put it on like that on the drop shot hook. But guys, this is one of the top drop shot baits I've ever used. There's a lot of guys using these things for smallmouth up north and they've been using them for a couple of years. Looks like a little minnow in the water and it just gets a lot more bites than a worm does on a lot of different uh, situations. So anyway, guys, highly, highly suggest that if you want to get you a limb and a fish, you know, Mega Bass Hazendong Shad, two different sizes. Um, the number, I don't use the four inch size as much. A lot of guys use it on a quarter ounce jig head, but this little dude right here, it will get you bit. And like I said, Baitworks has got a giant selection of them. Put, put the uh, uh, Hazendong Shad, Baitworks link in the description. You guys can get you some there. So anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. And we'll talk later. See you.